I want to show you a new tool for editing UV maps on Charmed.ai. This tool is called the Seam Editor. Open the editor by clicking this icon and you'll see color-coded visualization of the islands. We can toggle between the texture and the island view and we can turn the wireframe on and off. In addition to rotating, we can also pan to get a view of the object that uh, shows us the part that we need to see. So the way this editor works is that we select a set of faces that make up an island that we want to appear in our UV map. Uh, and we have a number of tools for doing that. So here we have the island selector. You'll see it highlights the whole island and we can select a set of islands that connect to each other. And if we wanted to, we can create an island. We also have this circle selector that will select all of the triangles inside a circle. Now this tool makes sure the triangles connect to each other. So you need to make sure that the, the triangles being selected are going to make a continuous area because our islands need to be continuous. So I'm gonna clear this out. The first island I wanna make is the face because I don't like that there are seams in the middle of the face. So we can start selecting the triangles here and we'll speed that process up. Uh, if you hold down control, you can deselect or you can use the erase button to do that. Then I click create island. We can see a color coded area has been re, uh, recolored for the face area of our model. We have not changed the UV map at this point. Right now we're just defining where we want the new islands to be. And we can go ahead and clean up uh, the, the rest of this model uh, so that we can see what it looks like when uh, we've got all our islands set and move on to the next step. All right, now that we've got the islands defined the way we want them, we can go ahead and click the Remap UVs button. This is when the new UV map actually gets created, and we rebake the materials in your object to match the new UV mapping. This process only takes a few seconds, uh, and when we're done, we'll have our texture in the new UV space, uh, but looking the same way it did before the remapping. You should be aware, depending on how the faces get stretched or distorted, it's possible that you lose some detail during this process. Before we move on, we have a chance to view the old islands and the new islands, uh, as well as uh, view the texture before and after. You can always discard uh, the changes and go back to the state before you made any changes. Um, but assuming that we like what we see, we can apply the selection and now we have an object with the new UV map. Here, we're given the option to cue the AI generation of the texture. I mentioned a second ago that we might lose some detail in the process, and by regenerating the texture with this UV map, uh, we won't suffer that problem. So here we'll, we'll be able to watch this texture get regenerated and come back when it's done to see what the final result looks like. And here we are. This is our character in our new UV space, uh, and it's been fully retextured, so we shouldn't see any of the uh, detail loss. Really quickly, we've also got this patch tool. It's been around for some time, but a little uh, more effective now. We just mark the areas that we would like to update because they have artifacts or some other detail we want to get rid of. And after a quick patching process, we can view the old texture and the new texture and just apply it if we like it. Uh, and that is how we uh, get the character texture to look exactly the way we want. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the seam editor. Bye-bye.